Gaps opened up of four or five to Ladron at the third last French. Frenchie de Large, Betty Ballou winged it in second and got to within half a length on landing. Down towards the second last they come. Frenchie de Large has got company. Betty Ballou towards the near side at the second last. Betty Ballou and Frenchie de Large locked together. Ladron kept going behind with Corin Cross. Frenchie de Large trying to pull out a little bit more. Betty Ballou still there near side at the last. They rise and land as one and they'll settle down to fight it out. Inside the furlong they go. Betty Ballou Ballou's just getting the upper hand. Frenchie Delage to the far side, but Betty Ballou's finding plenty on the run-in for Jamie Hamilton. It's going to be a double for Jamie. Betty Ballou's gone on to win. Frenchie Delage in second. Ladron for third. They finish clear of Corin Cross and Scipion. Well, you can't beat a mare in form, can you? Betty Ballou, she's uh, shown great tenacity. Went wide, held up, delivered it under a patient, confident ride under Jamie Hamilton, another winner for Jamie. Um, beats Frenchie, Frenchie Delage, who clouted the 13th, the second last on the far side. Nine to four favourite wins it, though. Uh, number nine, Ladrone, was at the back early on, was plugged on into third, and fourth was Corin Cross. But really, it was all about this Betty Ballou and ridden with uh, such confidence. And, and didn't she find plenty after the last? Yeah, and she, she's a really good jumper. I mean, if you could have had doubts over what this race was worth here last time for the amateurs, very little doubt that this is a sound piece of form. French Large came into it, having filled the same position in that final. Her... Low bank is steady at eight to one. 17 to two for Happy Tears. 17 to 2 and from 10 to 1 now for thanks but no thanks. And Crooked Crown at 25 to 1, the outsider of the seven strong field for race number three, the British EBF 40th anniversary, restricted maiden Philly stakes. So we're on a centre post, Dawn Charger, a clear pick of the market. Wouldn't be surprised, Shalaski though. There's a big play here, market also suggesting that. She looks ready to go first time up, as a lot of the Johnson Horton two-year-olds have done this season. And of course, the original ammo racing first string on Kevin Stott is due to be on Majestic Beauty taken out earlier on. And as a result, Kevin switches over to thanks but no thanks. He's now also wearing those first silks of ammo racing with the, the quarter cap. Ron has now been led behind the stalls. Loading process about to get underway. First to move in, thanks but no thanks, into stall number three. Now je ne sais quoi, into stall number five. She goes in nice and calmly. Now the favorite Dawn Charger. Five to four favorite about uh, Dawn Charger at the moment. Crooked Crown moves up, stall number four for her. In the grey and gold silk, Shalaski, stall eight. Now Willow Bank, stall number six for her. Willow Bank is in, one to load, waiting on a happy tears to go up into stall number seven.
Handler's bringing her forward now. Happy tears. Set to go. And they're off. Racing away for the British EBF 40th anniversary restricted maiden filly stakes over the five furlongs in the yellow silks. Dawn Charger is the first one to press on under Pierre-Louis Germain. Goes away by an early length and a half advantage to the violet silks. Thanks, but no thanks under Kevin Stott. Just about sharing second now with Happy Tears. As I've gone through the opening couple of furlongs, Je ne sais quoi is behind these in fourth in the white and black. The red and yellow of Crooked Crown to the inside and grey and gold is Shalaski. Wider out there is Willow Bank in those red and white silks. They're racing now towards the final quarter mile. Shaken along now Dawn Charger and joined to the outside by Thanks But No Thanks. A couple of lengths away to Je ne sais quoi and then came Happy Tears and Shalaski. They're racing now towards the final furlong. Dawn Charger fighting back at Thanks But No Thanks inside the last day head. Dawn Charger to the inside. Thanks But No Thanks looking to find a bit more with 100 yards to go it's Dawn Charger who's fighting plenty for pressure and will go one place better than debut. It's Dawn Charger to score. Thanks, but no thanks was home in second. Je ne sais quoi in third. Then Happy Tears and Shalaski.